Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today I'm going to do a TBR and if you don't know what it is, it's a list of books to be read in the near future. I'm setting my goal for the year of 2021. It's already February but I've already started reading a couple of books. We are currently in the middle of a pandemic. In Portugal we are obliged to stay in our homes as much as possible. I'm doing online classes so that actually gives me a lot of time to read and I love reading. Just a little information if you don't know. Uh, I'm Rita, I'm 21 years old. I study interior design and I love reading. When I was a kid, I used to read a lot. I absolutely loved children's books. And I think that they shaped my personality. And I still remember a lot of the stories because I'll read them over and over again. Then during my teenage years, I kind of stopped reading. I only read what was mandatory for school and I really didn't enjoy reading as a noggy. And then I got into college and I was forced to read a lot of things and I discovered books. And since I started reading, which was four years ago now, I've read a lot of books on a lot of subjects. So I thought it would be cool to show my favorite books. I'm going to show you guys my five favorite books. And here they are. These are my favorite books. I don't have any specific order. So the first book, there are actually three books. So this is a trilogy from Tov Ditlovsen. From Tov Ditlovsen. She was a Danish writer. These three books titled Childhood, Youth, and dependency. They are kind of an autobiography about her life, ranging from her childhood to her late married years. They were published around 1964-1971. So Tev was born in 1917 and these books cover Copenhagen throughout her childhood and her teenage years and even her adult life and I just got so submerged in this universe of hers so I absolutely fell in love with these books. So another one of my favorite books is Just Kids from Patti Smith. So this book is really popular and when I was like 16 years old I was all over Tumblr and I went to Finland and me and my family went to a museum and there was a Robert Mapplethorpe exhibition there of his photographs and his works and I saw this book there on the museum and this was all over Tumblr and I just I had to get it and I only read it four years later so last summer I knew the book was also about him but I had absolutely no idea of who Patti Smith was. I've obviously heard of her but not actually knew her and then I read this book and I absolutely fell in love with her and with him and their love story and New York in the 60s, 70s and throughout history. And once again this is a biography so it's really easy to read and really interesting. And I actually already read other pieces of Patti Smith and I actually really enjoyed her writing style and the way she communicates, it's really interesting. The next book was actually a recommendation from one of my Erasmus friends. He reads a lot so I trust his recommendations and I end up getting Murakami Norwegian Wood. This book is so my style. <laughs> it was written in the 80s in Tokyo. So by the title of the book Norwegian Wood you would thought, by the way, I did Erasmus in Norway. So Norwegian Wood was kind of like very suitable from a recommendation of my Erasmus friends, Erasmus in Norway. You connect the points. This book was all over the place. It's super nice, it's super dark. There's a lot of unexpected events happening all over the place. The story here happens in Japan, so it's a very different culture. And I absolutely loved the scenario, this imagining in my head what the streets would look like, what the 
the characters would look like. It just takes you on a journey of drama and real life and emotions and I really, really, really enjoyed it. By the way, I also take some notes just on the margin of the pages, bend the little corners um, on pages that has a sentence that I really like and sometimes I'll even underline it with a pencil. Sometimes I like to go back and look at the pages that have a sentence that I liked. So this is a really, really, really interesting book and it's actually a really good recommendation if you are looking for something to read. So if you want to, check it out. The next one is a really popular one. Normal People from Sally Rooney. So you might heard of the series which got a lot of media <laughs> surrounded it. I actually already saw it and it's amazing. If you can, go check it out. But I feel like reading the book first, which was my case, and then watching the series, it's amazing. To be honest, I'm not against doing it the other way around. So first see the series and then actually read the book because then you have a better characterization of the characters. And in this book, the series is so good that I actually recommend maybe seeing the series first if you can and then reading this book. Also like funny story, when I was in Norway, I saw this book on the shelf and I like really liked its cover because there's like a couple within a tuna can and then the title normal people I'm like I'm everything but normal so this book might interest me this was a very easy nice reading it tells a beautiful story and I actually saw myself in some moments of the story which is really nice that you can relate to a story once in a while. I like this so much that I actually have another book of Sally Rooney in my TBR. I will show that next up. And then last but not least, I have my Ornament in Crime from Adolf Loos. This is a very old book. It was written around 1930. If you don't know, Adolf Loos was a very famous architect and this book talks about ornament having it or not. So the modern art deco, arts and crafts period was happening. This book basically talks about how using too much ornament and making things a lot of kitsch, with a lot of stuff, visually very art nouveau style can be a crime to architecture and if says that ornament is a crime and that architecture and houses and buildings should be simple, modern, with clear lines and this has... Oh, I found a ticket <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, okay, I think this is from Sweden. Actually, I read this while I was doing Erasmus, so I was traveling a lot. I think I read part of this book while on a like five hour train ride from Oslo to Stockholm. Also as an interior design student, getting information about these topics in architecture and home design, everything, it's important. And because I read this two years ago, I really want to reread it in the future. And the same as normal people. After watching the series, I got the urge to read it again. So I might start in the near future. So I'll see if I get to it. Uh, yeah. So now actually, let's move to my TBR list of books. I actually have a lot. And I said that my goal was to read all of these in 2001. I have no idea if I'll make it because life changes and right now I'm in quarantine and I have time. Who knows, in a couple of months I might have no time to read. <laughs> but let's see how that goes. So it's already February and I already read this book and this is in Portuguese. Durante queda aprendi a voar. So something in the lines of during the fall I learned to fly. My mom got me this book on Christmas and this is not at all my style but she insists that I should read it because she gave it to me. Full of cliches, full of... It, it's kind of a love story with some drama of like depression attached to it and it's like a good distraction book but I don't exactly recommend it. <laughs> so yeah. Then I have 
this book. So this is a classic. This is Justine or the Misfortunes of Virtue by Marquise de Sade. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. I'm currently on page, oh, 222, my lucky number. <laughs> I'm almost finishing it. Then I have this one that my sister got me for Christmas. It's Filosofia para Exploradores Polares, Philosophy for Polar Explorers. Oh, and this, this is from, this is his name. I have no idea how to say his name. He's Norwegian. And fun fact about me, polar exploration. I have a thing with that. The North and the South Pole was such an adventure in all of the Arctic and the Antarctica. I'm really excited to read this book and I might actually read it next. Then I have this book, which is from Lana Del Rey. I absolutely love her. This is actually a poem book with some songs and some photographs. I'm really excited to read this book and there's actually a playlist on Spotify that I think would go super nice whilst reading. So next up I have Outline from Rachel Kusk and it's astrology. This is the first one. If I end up liking this one I'll just order the next ones because I like to read full trilogies when that makes sense. Then I have Body and Not Teal. This is from Anakin, actually an um, Instagrammer <laughs> about my age. Uh, she's Norwegian and I found her on Instagram and then I saw that she had written a book about relationships and broken heart and I just thought it would be suitable for me to read this this book it's in origin i've read a couple of sentences i'm still not able to fully read it and comprehend it but i've actually read some sentences and maybe a page here and there and i've actually can get the idea i'm learning origin if you don't know this is one of my goals being able to read this book and understand what it talks about, it's definitely one of my goals. Next up, I have another volume of Marquise de Sade. This is the 120 Days of Sodom. In the book that I'm currently reading, that's also from Marquise de Sade, there's a lot of references to this book, so I'm actually excited to read this on the same lines of the same authors and stuff. This is one of my favorite books and I just got conversations with friends of the same author. Saw somewhere that this one is not as good. I'm still really curious to see what this is about and I really do want to read it. The next book, A Little Life. I know this book is going to make me cry. And actually Hanikan, the author of Bare Nat Til, um, she has reading recommendation Instagram page and I follow her and she said like don't read this absolutely you will destroy you so I'm actually waiting for summer when I'm feeling more happy to read this book because I know that this will make me cry another book that I want to continue reading this year is Norwegian Hotel so this is a bunch of little stories and counts these are very small like three, four pages stories, so it's really easy to read one whenever. Then I have this one, which is Art do Pensamento Creativo, so something like the art of the creative thought, but I really want to read it, plus it's in Portuguese, and I know that I should read more. So I have another book in Portuguese, which is O Que É Ser Urbanista ou Arquiteto de Cidades? What is it like being a urban planner or an architect of cities. And then I have this one from Eduardo Sotomora, which is a famous architect. So conversas com alunos, conversations with students, and that's literally it. This is conversations of the architect with students. And finally, I have these three books, and they are very special and dear to me because they are about birds. This one is Ser Ilustrador and this one being an illustrator in this book it's kind of a guide on how to draw birds in different styles so this combines illustration 
we mentioned on the birds and everything so I'm really excited to read this book and learn more about birds and maybe in the future do some illustrations or drawings on birds. If you don't know, I live in the countryside and I love going on for walks in the nature and one of my favorite hobbies is just looking at birds and know what they are and their migratory phases, what they eat, how they called and I actually with the help of my father with the help of my father I was able to photograph birds in my area Still on that same note I have this book belonged to my father and actually my grandma gave it to me a few months ago. It's Avstrestrisch, so like terrestrial birds. It's a very old book. My family owns it since the 80s or even earlier and it has a lot of information about birds, has a lot of pictures. <gasps> you see, it's really... I need to fix it up. I'm actually trying to figure out a way that I can preserve this book better. And then because my father knows that I love birds so much and watching them, he actually got this for me as a Christmas present. This is Guia de Alves, so birds guide. And once again, this has like the birds with the nice drawings and then some information. Can you see? Like it's so nice. It has so many birds. This book is so beautiful. These two last books, uh, they are not the books that you read in one sitting. This is not st a storybook. These are books about birds. This is scientific knowledge. As you can see, I already have some post-its on the side because that marks my favorite birds and the ones that I really want to see in real life and that I know that they are out there near my house and I really want to find them. So yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my book references, my favorite books and the books that I want to read. I think that the books you read shape your character and your personality so much. And I think it's really interesting to see the books that someone is reading and then trying to get to know me because maybe you had no idea that I like birds because it's such a random fact not a lot of people know about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See? Bye!